Right, everyone. <laughs> Good morning. Day two of the Guitar Summit. Uh, we're in Germany and uh, we're covering over Coffee Custom Cups. I've got the pleasure of spending some time with our good friends uh, in Coffee Custom Cups. Roman here is one of the founders hey guys, of the company. I'm Roman from Coffee Cups. We're going to be having a bit of a conversation of the, uh, you know, the company as such, what made them start, um, pretty much what is the range that they're covering, what is the product. Um, for a bit of background, Coffee Custom Cups is a uh, Czech Republic based um, coffee, um, coffee too, but a custom uh, cups company. They made their own furniture to the speakers and they've got their own website and so on. We'll, do, uh, we'll talk further into that later on. But to begin with, uh, Roman, tell us a bit about yourself. What did you start? What made you begin with us? And so first you know, of all, what thank, you you for, thank you for inviting. It's very nice to be here with you. Uh, yes, uh, how we start? Uh, we start maybe in 2016 mm -hmm. for three years. Um, now it's 18 years. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> two <probably>. years. <laughs> uh, and the idea was because I'm I'm a musician. I play seven string and eight string guitars. Uh -huh. These nice aviator guitars. They are really cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and my problem was I try a lot of caps, but I still don't find a great uh, cap for my my style of music. Mm. I I'm focused on really tight sound, yeah, really punchy sound, but in full range uh, frequency spectrum. Uh, so one day uh, I started with play with some idea that I will build some cap. But I don't have any workhouse or workshop or garage or something. Uh -huh. It's no equipment. <laughs> and I have a very good friend, Bernie. Bernie, not Bernie Ecclestone, but Bernie uh, Stepan Bernacek. Called <laughs> Bernie. It's my very good friend. And uh -huh. he has a garage with some equipment. And we, we finalized our first prototype, which is called uh -huh. Lungo. Right. Well, and why, why name of coffee? Because uh, uh, we don't have money on the front grill. And I put there uh, the front girl from back from coffee, you know, that was made from Brazil. That's why hey, it's very, not very good, very good name, coffee. And also, right. uh, we don't have experience with with Tolex. That's why we start we start with uh, natural finish. And mm -hmm. I, I like nature. So, we like nature. Yeah, no, definitely. And people appreciate the build quality. Um, it's nice to see that there's a builder that a has a true meaning behind of what is the the, the coffee. Co um, name for the company and at the same time people appreciate the, the custom build quality, the, the thickness of the plywood used, the many plies you can count up to 18 millimeters yeah. on the uh, furniture as well. Actually, so yeah. this was the target because of if you need a tight sound you need to build, you need to use really uh, the high, high quality materials. Mm -hmm. We use uh, 18 millimeter plywood, 15 plies and for front and rear panel 21 millimeters, 15 mm -hmm. plies and everything is finger joint not screwed, uh, right. it, it, it works like monolith, uh -huh. that's why it sounds so tight, tight. it's very focused. Well, one of the things that has called many people the attention is that the punch that these uh, cabinets have, um, it's not rare to have visitors coming over and realizing uh, that it's only maybe the 1x12 plugged in, uh, they're expecting to have potentially the big one 4x10, 4x12 at the back of us, they're still surprised when they see it's only the <laughs> tiny ones. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're going to be talking about um, some of the uh, of the uh, speakers that we have here. We'll start by the 1x10s, 1x12s, and then we'll move on to the medium size 2x10s, 2x12s. Great. And 1x12. So Roman, can you tell us a bit about okay. the differences between both? Yes, of course. So, I start with 1x10. This mm -hmm. is... Uh, uh, ristretto, called ristretto, has maybe 12 kilo, yeah, mm -hmm. because 18 millimeter plywood. Uh, this cap, uh, the idea was to bring to, to your home really small cabinet with, right. huge, with huge sound. That's why we build here 10 inch speaker, V10 is our standard, and this cap is ported. Mm -hmm. because, uh, because we saw, we observed that a lot of 10 inch speakers has a not, not, not very nice low end and yeah. they are not, not, not good in the uh, low end. That's why uh, we designed this uh, uh, low, low pass filter, uh -huh. uh, like a uh, ported cap. And uh, this cap works very well, I, I must say. It's fully finger jointed, you can see there are no screws, mm -hmm. very solid construction, solid and uh, it's on huge. 
really mm. guys amazing for for your proof rooms or to, uh, yeah. i'll call this in england i don't know uh, but at your home you can or even home studios yeah, home studios that is a big very price a big, a big market right at the moment yes. um i was gonna say the uh, one by 12 has been to me personally one of the big surprises of the show <laughs> i really really enjoy um playing this one is surprising the punch and the low end how tight the grain it's translated from the uh, guitars down to this to the head and to the uh, to the cabinets is definitely impressive. Um, I was gonna ask you, both of them seem to have this uh, U ramp. Yes. Is it the same design no, 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 for no. both? Uh, no, uh, they are different. This has only something like bus reflex or port. Right. You know. This in this cab was idea because lots of lots of guitarists ask me. Uh, Roman, I have problem if I play one by twelve or two by twelve. I need to make some angle because I don't, I cannot right. hear, I cannot you hear. You cannot hear yourself. Yes, the idea uh -huh. was to make to produce to make port uh, to take also the the low low end a uh, little bit outer of, mm -hmm. of the cabinet of the, of the enclosure. But uh, second I, second target was to bring the uh, reflection of uh, of the pressure. To your face in 40, 45 degrees. Right. That's why we built inside some U round, like in skateboard. Uh, yeah. You know. And uh, it's worked pretty well, I think. Uh, you yeah. can tell. You can see surprise, <laughs> surprise faces once they all in, in the show playing this one. Mm -hmm. It really hits you in the face. I have to say, I played it myself, and you can tell that um, it's very broad angle, very broad sounding, still tight, regardless of the game that you put through it. So yeah, this pretty much the small range for the uh, sizes. I would say. You've got a lot of possibilities with these uh, cabinets, um, ranging from stereo. If you want to play at the club, I yes. would say that you can deal with this. Just divert the line into two yeah. different amplifiers, potentially. You can have also two different speakers. Uh, for this cab, I recommend that you use the Greenback H75, 75 version of Greenback, mm -hmm. or Redback 150, which is a really very powerful and yeah. nice speaker. Mm -hmm. So that's more for a potentially more of a um, metal audience. Would yes. you say maybe this is a bit more vintage? Or jazzy, kind of sound? clean sounds, but also you can play mm -hmm. very nice stuff with your 7 string. Right guys, um, I would say that this one would get, would get very interested in the studio, especially if you play around with the angles of the microphone, if you want to catch part of those mm -hmm. waves from coming underneath the amplifier. And uh, as you can see, very powerful, very interesting options that you can have if you want to make a step into coffee custom mm -hmm. cups. And uh, that's pretty much what we've got on this small size. We moved on to the uh, medium sized range for coffee custom cups. We've got the 2x10 and the 2x12. Yes. Lots of options when you move into two speakers. Um, this is one of my favorites, actually, it's a bit of a surprise for people how, um, how this way, um, the, the construction of this one as well. Um, so tell us a bit more about the 2x10. Uh, so now we are on the line, I would say, vintage line. Mm -hmm. This cab is 2x10, uh, mm -hmm. called Americano, and it was built with my friend uh, Kuba Kaifosh, uh -huh. uh, Laser Viking. Mm -hmm. He's a very, very nice guy, very, very big guitar geek in Czech Republic. And he told me, hey Roman, I need to build for my amplifiers Class A, class a uh, 2x12 with huge sound, but still, you know, still tight. Vin mm -hmm. tight and vintage sounding. Mm -hmm. So we designed uh, this cab, it's uh, half open. From, so from this follows, sorry to, sorry, to yeah. cut you, this follows the line of the Ristretto, yes? So yeah, Ristretto, yeah, yeah, yeah. Americano, are still black yes, coffee, yes. still the roots, um, <laughs> and that's pretty much what you've got. Yes, and you were talking about the construction, which is very mm -hmm. interesting. So this construction, uh, this cap is with one cap, uh, which, which has a uh, half open back. Uh, so this is the big surprise on this cabinet. It's quite easy to handle. If you've got a car, you can definitely yeah. afford this, and you can have a tool for the studio, for the um, for your gigs as well. And as well, you've got all the play uh, possibilities, all the playing possibilities with different speakers. So, mm -hmm. uh, which is so, normally the setup that you've got on this on this uh, kind of. Uh, we recommended setup. Uh, our recommended setup is to use uh, Jensen speakers. Uh, upstairs is uh, uh, Jensen Alnico and Alnico. Up, down is and ceramic. 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 Yeah. It works okay. very good. You, you, you cover a full range mm -hmm. of the cap and it's very nice. And, and the character as well. Yeah. Yeah. Like tweet. Uh -huh. Tweety sound, but 
I try also eight strings and, and it works mix. very well. It still know. works. Yeah. yeah it's cool. I think it's a good combination having the ceramic on the on the bottom baffle, whereas mm -hmm. the uh, the upper one is the Alnico one, which is a bit more rich, more vintage sounding. Yeah. So that still you got all also, the play. By the Alnico you have open back, and by the ceramic is half half mm -hmm. open. Half open. Yeah. And at the same time, this goes along with the line of projecting that sound as well. If you you just need to think that if you're on stage with this one, you're still gonna be able to hear yourself whilst you're playing, which is a very big advantage, which doesn't happen often with closed cabinets, with open, full open cabinets. People think that there's not enough punch, enough tightness. So I think this is a good balance. What is also interesting in this cab, uh, Kuba told me. Hey Roman, it's very nice. Also, if you turn turn back your cap and if, if you mic uh, your oh, cap from from the, the back, back side, uh -huh. it's very interesting sounding because the claw. Yeah, and I can recommend that this if you play jazz or rock and roll style, this cap is your tone. Good. Now we're moving on to one of the big stars of the show. This yeah. is a cappuccino. To no, no, no. This is right. latte, latte, uh -huh. and actually this is our flagship in two by twelve. I would say this is flagship. Uh, this cap uh, has more like standard uh, sizes. Mm -hmm. It's not oversized, uh, but we put in, uh, outside the ports. Mm -hmm. You still have yes. the uh, the uh, the bottom. Yes, we have on bottom uh, two ports, two different mm -hmm. ports. They are uh, two different tunes, and uh, this cap is built from 18 millimeter full of 18 millimeter plywood. Right. British plywood. This cap is amazing for vintage style for rock and roll but also for metal, it's very universal. <laughs> and I would say, is, yeah. from my opinion, this is the best cap mm. for guitar. And this is, you've got one of your endosiers recently, is it ginger? That no, ginger, ginger has cappuccino, because right. this is more, it's much tighter. Mm -hmm. but later. Okay, <laughs> this Good. cap has, for example, Henning Pauli, HP right. mm. uh, from Germany, and I think he's uh, very satisfied with yeah. this cap. Mm -hmm. um, let me just make a mention here that all the cabinets come in fully customizable paint jobs. You can yeah. have it in solid um, paint, you can have it in more see-through, a bit more washed out as yeah. well material. So. Actually, we are customized. Uh, we have 12 different colors, uh, mm. 4 different finishes and I think it's something like 5 or 7 different speakers combination. Mm -hmm. You can choose what you want. We have uh, now some new finishes, like we call this Provence. It's more like a relic or yeah. garbage uh, things because we like this. We like this. <laughs> we like this. <laughs> we like this. <laughs> <laughs>